This is a quick video to make everyone aware of the amazing amount of res help resources there are for Finale from Make Music, which is the company that designs it. Uh, first of all, just um, not surprisingly, if you open up a document and you go to the Help menu, that's where most of them are. Uh, there's the user manual, the quick reference guide, and so on. And I'm just going to go over the main ones right now. So the, probably the most useful, easy to use one is the Quick Start videos. You click on that. And you can see there's a whole bunch of um, headings that are under things like getting started, um, entering ways to enter notes, and things where you're trying to think of what you want to do. And you, it's surprising how often you may find what you want to do under this heading. You know, you want to add chords to your document, you want to add and edit temp and tempo markings, etc. So there's a lot of things there. And then these are some uh, videos related to. Um, finishing up a project. So just to take one um, at random, uh, you know, uh, you know, let's see, setting up a lead sheet, how about that? I'll click on that. You click on that and then um, you'll see that there's a play button, you hit that. You can create a lead sheet in Finale by using either the pre-made lead sheet template or the document setup wizard. A template allows you to create a new file quickly it goes on from there. Now, there are other videos that have been made by people like me and others who that are more specific to, say, Berkeley notation and stuff like that. But you're going to get 80, 90 percent of what you need, sometimes 100 percent of what you need from these kinds of things. And, and the Berkeley specific stuff you can you can pick up here and there from asking people and taking courses and stuff. But uh, this you can get a lot from these and you can just watch one a day or something and you'll just start to pick up a lot of stuff So that's the quick start videos uh, going back to um, help my help menu uh, Another one I want to point out is um, the tutorials now these are Even more comprehensive and you can read all about them um, and They can be basically you can just get them via search so you just click on the search button and search for a tutorial in a particular topic. Um, and they're very well done and they have, they have visuals to help you figure out what you need. Um, let's see, the next one I would mention is the Quick Reference Guide. So you can look at um, this and it's got a table of contents and you can just go right through it and it's all linked so you can um, see what you want, click on it, and it takes you right there. And you can see they're very well done. It's not just a bunch of text. They have pictures. Um, they have visuals to help you out. They're very, very good. Very, very well done. They've improved an incredible amount in recent years. All right, so that was the, um, oops, keep going to the wrong one. That was the quick reference guide. Okay. Now, if you do go then there's keyboard shortcuts, which I have vi other videos about that. And it's important if you're using a laptop to con to use uh, laptop shortcuts because these will optimize your um, uh, use of a laptop. And I have a separate video on that, but essentially it's, it's a good idea to set up your laptop in a particular way to optimize shortcuts on a laptop. It's different from using it on a desktop. Um, so if you are watching this video and you need to know more about that, um, you can look at the other videos posted on this site uh, that are entitled along those lines, setting up your laptop for optimal use with Finale. Okay, and now last but not least, if you do find yourself looking for something really obscure or finding something, you're not finding what you need in these, other, in these other sources and you need to go to the user manual, I'll show you the best way to use the user manual. It's online, so you have to be connected to the um, internet. Um, but you can see there's some uh, things that are especially designed for, um, the, you know, to tell you, you know, if you're new to help, you know, uh, designed to help a newer user. And then there's some other headings that kind of guide you through the whole process of finding what you need. So if you say, I'm looking for whatever, and then you... Um, where do I find? You can just follow through with these prompts and using the search tool and you can find an incredible amount. So that's it for now. I'm trying to keep this video short, but you should know that it's uh, there really is an incredible amount out there and it's quite well done. A very last resort, 
is that you really can't, you've got some kind of bug or some kind of thing that you feel is not working properly with the program. And at that point, you need to go to the actual um, website and put in a request for help. And that's where you would um, go to the Finale website and you would go to support and you would go to, and then there's a lot of things you can look up on forums and stuff like that. But if you still aren't finding what you want, you can ask a question and then you tell them uh, you have to sign in, you have to log in. And if you haven't set up a web uh, password, you'll set it up at that time. Then you choose your product. So it's a process of narrowing it down. You go through this whole process, you know, finale, whatever version it is, blah, blah, blah. Then you say what your uh, heading is, you say what your problem is, you give your serial number, and then attach the file if it's giving you problems. You attach the file that's giving you problems, and then you submit it, and they're very good about getting back to you. Of course, it's not instant help, but it's. I've always found it to be within 24 hours, and it's pretty thorough. They, they take it pretty seriously. So um, there you go. That's a summation of all uh, many of the help options that are available for Finale.